edition of Hey It's Those Guys Film of the Week. Yeah, we're branching out. Yeah. I am Nick Silviano and this is... Angelo Williams. And like we do with the uh, game of the week, we're going to go ahead and start expanding the movies and film and stuff like that. So today's entry in the first ever film of the week is Tekken. Yeah, it's a movie about a game. But we start. We figured we start with this one. Next week we should just do Fighter. Yeah, we totally should. <laughs> anyway, so you know, if you played Tekken, don't expect Tekken. <laughs> I mean, it was a good. It was a decent movie. I wouldn't say it was like great. You know, it's basically gonna follow the same formula as movies. I thought it was pretty damn good. It wasn't great. We'll get to you. Okay, you know what? You go first. Alright. There were many parts of this movie that confused me until I got to the end. I, throughout, from when I played the games, finding out that Jin was Kazuya's son, well, that, was, that is explained accurate. differently. That is accurate. Well, yeah. But, as you see in this one, it makes more sense. It does, a little bit, yeah, because, like, Kazuya is... Well, I guess in the... Well, you know what, this is about the games. We're gonna forget the game story, because this is very loosely based on the game story. Kazuya is, I mean, the, the, the same principles there. Hayachi, Kazuya is the so son. Huh? Hayachi, I don't know, I, I'm a man. I don't mean to sound like a fruit, but he looked adorable and then too late. <laughs> anyway, um, Hayachi, by the way, was played by the same guy who played Shang Tsung in the first Mortal Kombat movie. I know, I was watching the movie, I'm like, that guy looks so... So, so anyway, you know, the basic plot of the movie is, is, is you know, dystopian future, something called Tekken rules the world. It's like the biggest business corporation. Instead of like the Mish Mishima uh, Saibatsu, what it's called, called the games, it's called Tekken. It's Tekken straight out, not... Kind of like the Verizon. Yeah. It, it's kind of like how, uh, you know, in, in, it was Tekken, I, I don't know if it's sort of, it's just called Tekken. It's the company called Tekken. So basically, Jin... Kazama, the uh, star of our movie, or star of the movie, is uh, you know he he's a he's a runner. He runs things back and forth between organizations. You know, all types of material, probably secret information, drugs. I don't know. But this time, by mistakenly, he grabbed a Tekken item. So you know he does it for money and stuff like that. Well, eventually a Tekken force come, tries to find him because they found the people he gave it to. So look for him too. And in the process, kills his mother, Jun Kazama. Jun, Jun Kazama. Well, honestly, I don't know what that girl was thinking. She should have just—I know she was trying to protect her son, but at the same time, he was right there. Jin could have jumped through the window and she just for, did she forbid him to uh, join Tekken because he said he wanted to join Tekken to get the money. And he was trying to go in there, and eventually he does. He meets Steve Fox, who looks nothing like nothing his game like kind of Nothing. All the, you know, I will say one thing. A lot of the characters look exactly like their game counterpart. Raven? Oh my god. Raven was pretty good. I think they should have went with the black uniform instead of the white one, though, because he looked like a fruity ninja instead of a regular ninja. <laughs> he looked like a ninja glam. I mean, seriously. <laughs> um, what's his name? Uh, Yoshimitsu was pretty good. Pretty good. And Brian, Brian Fury, who was like the champion. Of Tekken, whatever, it was spot on. Um, the two characters I didn't think looked anything like their game com counterparts were um, Christy. Steve. No, Christy looked just like Christy. No, looked Christy in the game looked American. That, that, that bitch was Chinese. Uh, well, I don't know. she was supposed to be uh, Mexican or something like that, or Hispanic, but I don't remember. But anyway, uh, and so, and uh, what's the name? Martial Law didn't look anything like Martial Law from the. He, he looks like, like some uh, some fat douche. Whatever. And Paul Phoenix was mentioned, but never actually in the movie. He should have been mentioned. He should have been in that movie. There are a lot of characters that didn't appear in the movie, but anyway, uh, I don't want to like give away too much of the plot, so I don't want to ruin it for anybody who hasn't seen the movie yet. <clears throat> but like I said, uh, it was okay for what it was. I mean, I hope they do make a part two, by the way, in it. I'm like thinking hmm, they could expand this into something else bringing new characters, and hopefully explore the whole uh, devil gene thing, which is really something I'd like to see. That's something that they should have put That's something that I see next second movie where... In the like, final fight with Kazuya, that's what should have happened. Kazuya comes back and he has the... Because, like... 
Hayachi mentions that he could never control his son's dark side, and it'd be kind of neat if that dark side turned out to be the devil gene that runs in the family. That for some reason everybody but Hayachi was able to uh, get. And he's really mad about that for some reason. But that, that's in the game, so sorry we're like deviating here. So anyway, we're going to go with the standard rating system. I'm going to actually add a third one because we got approving and disapproving. I'm going to add a middle one now. So the middle one is pretty much going to be a meh. So basically going by that, I'm going to give this game a game. Sorry. I'm going to give this movie a meh. And you? I'm going to give it an agree. Five stars. Approval, man. Approve. I'm approve this movie to the viewers. So, okay, approval from from Angela here. So anyway, that has been this week's episode of Hey, it's those guys film of the week. Um, we really can't show any movie footage for copyright and crap like that. So, yeah, not gonna be able to see any of that. So anyway, this has been the first episode of Hey, it's those guys film of the week. We'll try to do better next time, and we'll see you, hopefully, next week.